everybody, it's Joe, and my rats are drinking very loudly in the background, and I keep waiting for them to stop to start this video, but... But that's not gonna happen, so we're just gonna start. I just finished filming a video about the whole story of how I lost my leg, and the moment that kind of got me when I was talking about this whole story was the moment that I showed up to the hospital to actually have my leg amputated, and I wanted to expound on that a little bit further. One of the first videos I released on this channel was the day before my amputation surgery. I talked about how there are not many moments in your life that you get to know there's gonna be a before and an after. I'm sure most people watching this have moments like that in your life where everything changes, where you view your life through the lens of, oh yeah, I was this person before this date and I was this person after that date. And I walked into the hospital knowing, like with each step, I was one step closer to a before and an after. And that was so weird because I've had a number of life events that there were like very distinct before and after Joes, you know? But I didn't get to know that. I just had to adapt. I just had to figure it out and to have a couple weeks to think about it and to know that I was walking into that hospital and my life was gonna change forever, I was gonna change forever, what I looked like was gonna change forever, even though it doesn't seem like that should be a big thing, it is, was one of the most bizarre experiences I ever had. And the moment specifically that I kissed my husband goodbye when I was laying in the hospital bed because the anesthesiologist had come in. He was like, hey, I think we're ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and do your nerve block. Now would be a great time to say goodbye. Oh, and I'm actually like getting emotional thinking about this. And I remember like being like, oh, oh my God, like this is it. I remember like almost feeling like a kid again for a second and being like, this is the moment where I walk into things alone. Like I'd had so many, so much support and so many people around me up until that moment. But as I hugged my mom and then kissed my husband goodbye and he smiled back at me as he was leaving the room, like that was it, you know, the moment of no return. And as they left, the anesthesiologist pumped the good drugs, as he said, into me, which were kind of like, you know, what help you relax. It's before the actual anesthesia, uh, anis what's that called? Anesthesia, there we go. I think what sticks in my head about that moment, aside from the uh, terror and uncertainty of it and feeling like I was a kid, just so scared of something that was so unknown, was also that I felt so empowered because I got to make this decision for myself about my own body. And I had not had that luxury before with pretty much anything in my life regarding myself or my physical body. Decisions have been made for me when it comes to many, many things. And as scared as I was that maybe I was making the wrong decision or maybe this would ruin everything, I got to make it. And that may sound stupid to people, but I can't tell you how much that meant to me. And as the people who loved me and supported me walked out of the room, and let me just say my dad would have been there, but he was taking care of my dogs at home and was on his way to the hospital at that point. They trusted me to make this decision for myself, about myself. And even though I was terrified, I got to make it. And even though I was terrified as I started to feel those drugs kick in, I felt confident in, in knowing that this was something I got to do for me. No one was making this decision for me and I wasn't being forced into it. And I knew that if I had waited a few years, if I had gone through more surgeries to try to save a part of my body that was in so much pain, so messed up and dying anyways, that I would eventually be pigeonholed into this decision. I'd be forced into it. And so um, I had the freedom to make the choice in that moment instead. And I will always be grateful for that moment, whatever comes of all of this. And I'm still not the least bit regretful, even though there have been bumps, even though it's been really painful and weird and bizarre and a crazy new experience that's come with many, many good things and beautiful things and just a whole new experience, experience I would never have otherwise, you know? So that's what I've been reflecting on today and I hope you don't mind me sharing and I really appreciate you guys listening. I'll talk to you guys soon, bye. Well, hello, Dee. How are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing back there? Let's see the camera. <laughs>